Yeah, let's just play with one HP. That's kind of fun, actually. Gives me a good excuse to try not to get hits. And the Pearl Beam helps a lot. Although you can achieve the same thing by being full HP, so... Another key? No, 200 rupees. We're capped out, okay. Oh, but the sound is annoying. You know what? Yeah, you're right. The sound is annoying. I'll heal. Like, I don't mind being 1 HP, but you guys take priority here. I could listen to that sound for hours on end and it'd be fine, but I don't want a full episode of that. Oh, that's how I get it. Okay. Well, that solves every issue regarding that, I guess. Uh, I have to jump down now, I think? Yeah, I do. Well, let's just go for the room that I need to jump down in anyways. So this is the fly room again, yes? No, it's not. This is the chest room. Fly room is one more floor below that. But I want to jump down uh, here. Boss fights. I think there's gonna be more, right? No, that's it. That was so easy. And I get a tin stone. I think I can blow up this wall. I cannot. What's the deal here? Is this only here so you can see it from the upper floor? So it gives you a hint that you should jump down. Because it gives you this shortcut, which is kind of useful. Because now I can just go this way, and I can go up here. So it's a good shortcut, but it seems a bit, like, silly. Alright, what do I want to do next? Uh, there was another room on the upper floor, right? I feel like I'm not being very efficient. Uh, at least it was the skeleton and not the uh, fire thing. But I want to see if I can get a heart now, because I want to be full HP and all! Oh, oh, oh. oh damn it. Well, that's not full HP for certain. Stop being on fire! I hate being on fire. And I didn't get a single heart. If I got one heart, I would be okay with it. How about here? Nope. How good is Light Iros against Gibdo? arrows was that 20 is a light arrow actually 10 times damage i need to count that in editing uh i opened something on this side right let's just get rid of this guy first because i could go further up i just decided not to because i felt like i need to finish exploring this floor first yes okay well, if light arrows are 10 times damage, then that was risky. This is even more risky. Just shoot it and dodge. Whew. Yeah, using light arrows is kind of fun, especially for 10 times damage. They might not be 10 times damage, but they're more effective against uh, certain enemies. So maybe they just do more damage to, like, Gimdo, because they're, like, undead. I don't specifically know, though. Ah, so close. Is that it? back up. Do I want to fall here? I don't know. 
Oh, this room is fun. Yeah, if I touch these guys, they blow up. And, um... If they hit the switch... The... Yeah, you'll see. Yeah, the door closes. You can cheese it, though. You can absolutely cheese it, and I'm gonna try, because I love cheesing. There we go. You're supposed to walk around the room and try not to touch them. But when you've played this game, like... I don't know. <laughs> I'm not even gonna make a guess. When you've played this game a bunch of times, chasing it becomes a lot more fun. Because you've already done it the normal way. So I got a key. Where do I need a key? Because if I go this way, I won't be able to go back. Any doors? Wait, there's a door over there. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have... Ah, uh, well, the, the wall is still open. I can just go quickly around. Just didn't see the door anywhere. Okay, one more attempt. Okay, I need some speed. Nope. And I need to be perfectly in between them. Really? Last try before I do it normally. Oh, there's a second boss door. Am I going back to somewhere I've been before? Oh, there's a chest below me, and there is a room on the... Okay, so I need to fall down somewhere. Do I just do the, the, the hole floor that I saw? Probably right. But I do fall down here. Wait, did I fall here and not open? Am I not dumb? Oh my god. I'm gonna see the recording and I'm gonna hate myself. Don't stop my spinning, I'm spinning. Get out of my way. I must have done something good. Right it must have. There's no way I didn't do something dumb. And if I did something dumb, I'm probably gonna cut ahead so I seem less dumb. But I'm still gonna tell you that I'm being dumb because this part is not gonna be cut out no matter what. So you'll hear me calling myself dumb, but you might not see me being dumb, which makes it more okay. Right? Makes it, makes it more okay for me anyways. Oh, but if I cut it out, it's actually more so because I took a long time and I don't wanna have like a bunch of the episode be me running around. Up and down the same floor. Can I hit these? Yeah, I want this chest, but do I push this first? No, I push it afterwards. But I have to get down there. Big chest. And I don't know why I would push this one, but I can. So I will. That's all the chests, right? No, there's still one more, damn it. Still one more. Oh, down here, okay. I'm gonna over jump this or under jump this. Oh! Or not! They're hiding something here, right? There's a reason why there's like a little ledge here. So this is if I want to go back. Yes. But we have two clouds, two sets of clouds, and the... The one here is to the boss, so we go to this one. Is there an invisible floor? No. Why is there like a ledge here? And a ledge... Here. Makes it look like there's supposed to be an invisible floor that goes from here to the, the top right. We can just jump. Well, you can jump if you do it properly. That's so weird. If this was linked to the past, it would be an invisible floor, because then we would have the Arcane of Burna to find the floor. Hello. 
for some reason my character wouldn't face down. Okay, give me a last chest. No enemies? No... No tricks? Nothing? Oh. I actually expected that to be a trap. Uh, I really want to heal first, but oh well. Fairy? No, nope, hearts. Might be a fairy though, so I'll take out the bottle just in case. Heart. Fairy? No fairies. How about here? This has to be a fairy. I mean, I have enough fairies, it's just. I wanted to fill up extras. Alright. Boss time. This boss fight is actually really creative. <laughs> I immediately take damage. Yeah, I touched the tail of the uh, flying guy. Now we need to escape. And now we have to kill this guy. Really? That's a dick move. You know what? I should just prefer a spin attack just in case. There we go. That way I don't have to aim. That was such a bad jump. Holy shit. Oh, I can't jump. Right. I cannot jump while I'm duplicated. Which makes this a bit annoying because if he touches my clones, they disappear. At least I don't take damage. So I'll prioritize not taking damage. And my clones do do damage, so like, having them stay up is helpful. I think it's gonna tail swipe first, probably. Nope. Oh, you, uh, I should kill those. I can kill the green guys, I should jump tail, kill the green guys. Or if he does that, I can just jump and kill the guys. Oh, I completely destroyed some of the eyes. He can't use them anymore. That's not good, though. Give me some eyes to hit. Come on. Wait, I can hit those? I shouldn't be able to because they were destroyed. Ah. This is why having the quick charge is so good though, because it's so easy to lose clones here. Oh, so close! Walk me on still? I'll come back on. Ha! What a bitch. Come here. He goes towards me when I try to go towards him. Okay, let me just stand still this time. Oh, now he decided not to. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I should be on it. I should not have jumped off. I don't think I've ever done this before, actually. But I'm, I usually think you're supposed to get off as soon as you can. Ha! <laughs> ha! They gave me a lot of healing, though, which is nice. There we go, now he died. Can I do this? No. I need to hit him all of these. He's almost dead though. There we go. 
Yeah, this fight is really creative and I like it. Apart from the one part of it where I accidentally jumped off too early, I'm pretty happy with how that went. If I had uh, not touched the tail the first time I jumped off the blue guy, and if I had attacked the green guys the first time they showed up instead of jumping, then I think I would be completely satisfied. Uh, the wind carries the seeds of flowers, scattering life across the land. The wind element is the embodiment of that power. And that is the final element. You got a heart container. Your life energy has increased and been replenished. At last! We've got all four elements! Let's go revive the sacred blade!